Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Lucas Dentas here again to talk about Go High Level, which is the tool that's disrupting the market in terms of online marketing. You can do a lot of things with this tool. This example today, it's for a restaurant that have designed this funnel and I'm gonna walk you through from the first step until the end of the funnel, everything that's included in the back end, and also a link in the description so you can get this template for you and you can start using and selling to clients. So you see my screen right here. This is the opportunity dashboard we can see everyone who have claimed we the, the funnel that we are using for this client is the free appetizer funnel and everyone that have claimed the free appetizer is on the first row says new leads everyone that has booked a reservation is on the reservation requested column that you see right here and we have been running an ad for about two weeks now our budget is not very high this budget is no more than five dollars a day I think the results are pretty good because with less than three weeks and a half of ads being run they have 79 people in their list so these are people they can they can reach out at any time they can send an sms message they can send an email they can talk about happy hour happening there maybe they have a special event beer tasting when they have live music so these are all notifications that can be sent to all these people that have claimed that free appetizer and the way we have worded uh, I'm going to show you right now in our funnel we're calling it loyalty program so we have the free appetizer right here uh, you see all the stages here I'm gonna open up the first one which is right here it's already open right here so people when they see the ad they click on it they go to this page in this page we explain what the loyalty program is that they can claim a free appetizer they leave their information here we're requiring first name last name phone number birthday month and email once we get this information we send them to the second step of the funnel and which I'm showing I'm going to show you right now let me open this page so they have claimed the free appetizer now they see this screen which which means they can choose a date and choose a time for the reservation with this restaurant we are aiming to have more reservations for Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays and Friday afternoons because these are the days they, they are not as full as they are on weekends and if you are working with the client it's better to target Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays days that they don't have a lot of people because the restaurant is more likely to accept an offer like this and get the service usually restaurants have no problem in being booked on Fridays on Saturdays but when it comes to the weekdays it's harder so if you if you have a snapshot like this and you offer them to get their place with more reservations on on those low days like Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays I'm sure restaurant owner would be interested in this solution going back to this funnel so if people don't book a reservation we have a sequence of emails and SMS to be sent to them in order to get them to this page and book this goddamn reservation and if people go to this page they can choose like I said they can choose the date the time in here we already have this form that automatically fills out with the information because they have left their information in the first step in here they can set up reservation for how many and there are a few things that we do here you know just trying to be a little bit fancier so for example if people say it's the first time that they go to the restaurant we are sending an automated uh, a notification to a tablet that has go high level stuff and the employee there at the time will call the person who have booked the reservation to manually confirm with them but if it's not their first time it will automatically confirm and they will start getting uh, reminders for the reservation so enough about the pages let me show you how this work in the back end and of course the last the last stages of the funnel it's the thank you page that you see right here after they book the reservation and also there's the offer redemption which I'm going to explain right now when we go to automation right here on the workflow free appetizer this is where I have set up all the automation for this funnel so for example if people claim their free appetizer they will get into this workflow which has all the steps so first we create the opportunity you know that column we see with new leads reservation requested so we are creating that column for that client on new leads so when the business owner log into go high level they see exactly what's happening in the business and so after we create that opportunity we wait 15 minutes which means that after they claim they claim their free appetizer they are on the page 
to book their reservation. We give them 15 minutes to finish booking their reservation there. If they don't do it, then we send an email. And it's the first email. We say, welcome to our loyalty program. So now that, you, now that you are a member of a loyalty program, you have 30 days to claim your free appetizer. And then we send them the, the link so they can book their reservation. We also send an SMS message with basically the same verbiage. And then we wait three days. And then we tell them, your appetizer is waiting for you. And we have an SMS with almost the same verbiage. Then we wait seven days to send them another email message. So we notice that you haven't yet made your reservation. We'd love to know if there are any questions that can be answered for you. And then if they don't do anything in those in the next 15 days, they get another SMS saying, hello, your free appetizer will expire in five days. When you're ready, please make your reservation here. So we're telling them again to make their reservation. And then after five days, they don't do anything at all whatsoever. We're sending them this last SMS saying, hello, your free appetizer has expired. If you would like to claim it again, please visit the page below, which means that they will start getting all those messages again from the first step if they claim the appetizer and don't book a reservation. And so this is the first step of the funnel. Of course, based on what people do, they will get into a different flow and they will get different messages. So if they book the reservation, we have a list, we have a sequence of emails and SMS that will be sent to them. First, if they book the reservation, we update the opportunity. What does that mean? First, people go to a new lead and then we see the second column, which is reservation requested. So that's where we send people right after they have booked the reservation. We update we just move their opportunity from, from new lead, the first stage, to reservation requested, the second stage. You've seen that in the funnel. Then we send them an email saying that your reservation has been received. We confirm the date, the time with them, uh, how for how many people. We wait then 10 minutes. We send an SMS with the same information. And of course, this is the setup we have done for first timer, first comers or first timers. Then we are sending notification to the tablet so someone there will get in touch with them. So this is the first thing that happens and then oh there's one thing so here this is when they book their reservation but like i said for people that it's not the first time they're going there their reservations will be automatically confirmed and we have a trigger and a flow for reservations confirmed so you book the reservation if if you are first timer it doesn't mean that it's confirmed if it's not the first time you go there you book a reservation it's automatically confirmed of course you can change this all of this is customizable you can make all reservations automatic you can make none of them automatic you can make for some people automatic but this is up to you you will talk to the business owner or you will talk within your company and find out what is the best for you and like i said so here, reservation has been confirmed. They receive an email. Your reservation has been confirmed. Then we wait 10 minutes. We send an, an SMS with exactly the same verbiage. You have your reservation has been confirmed. Please let me know if you have any questions. You have 10 minutes grace period if you're not any way. And, th and this is also something that the owner asked us to add. You have a 10 minute grace period. If you're running late, you need to modify reservations. Please call us. So you can see here all the steps of this automation. So this is an email reminder that goes on the day of the reservation. We wait six hours in and then we send them just a friendly reminder of your reservation today. And then there's three hours before the reservation. We send another SMS. And with this one, it's even more powerful because we're asking them to reply. So if they reply cancel our the employee there at the company, they will know that this person this person is not coming anymore. You know, so it's not like the, the reservation has been booked and nobody can book because, because somebody has taken it. No, you are able to control this in real time. If people reply cancel, the reservation is automatically canceled, and which means that someone can go to the website and book a reservation for that time. So we're making it as easy as possible for someone to cancel their reservation if they can come. And this is extremely powerful after they have been to the place, after their reservations, 15 hours later, they will send a review request so they can leave a Google review for your business. Imagine that if you have this in automatic all the time, in autopilot, people come to your restaurant and they automatically receive a review after 15 days after or 15 hours after imagine if you can do this autopilot people go to your restaurant and then they immediately after they are in your restaurant they get an email it doesn't have to be immediately you can do one hour later 15 hours later that's what we're doing here 15 hours of reservation we're sending them an email to send a review and also an sms and if you don't know how powerful reviews are on google you're probably falling behind on google the most important factor for you to rank with your google business profile is number of reviews so if you're not getting reviews you're stuck in time 
and probably you have to keep spending on marketing. When you have 1,000 reviews, you don't have to worry about Google Business Profile, you don't have to worry about ranking on Google because you automatically will be a top business in your, the searches. This is my explanation of this funnel. Uh, we, we build funnels for all types of clients, dog trainers, equipment rental, coaching, and this is one for restaurants that we have started to build now and it's looking very promising um, really like how go high level have packaged this solution together it just has everything that we need here and of course what i want to show you like a few stats of this funnel on the free appetizer for example i can come here i can check the stats and look at this we have 27 percent conversion on the opt-in page which is the claim your free appetizer and 19 percent of conversion on the booking page these numbers are very good if you compare at any industry the benchmark these numbers are incredibly good so that's it guys i just wanted to just to, to give you an overview of another funnel we have built we have been doing this for a lot of clients you can always get in touch with me on the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications so the next time there's a new video you're the first one to get notified see you on the next one